We finally are playing The Wolf Among Us. I was gonna play it in time for season two, but season two is delayed, so it doesn't actually really matter now, but I'm gonna play it anyway. I watched a playthrough ages, and I mean ages ago. Yeah, I played it eight, no, I watched a playthrough of it ages ago. I've never played it myself, so I don't actually remember what happens in it, but I wanna play it anyway. So we're gonna play it. There are Fables comics? I didn't even know that was a thing. Hi, Big B. Okay, episode one, base. Let's start episode one. There. I actually need to press it, but that's fine. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I love reading it. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. <gasps> this is like the show Once Upon a Time. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Wow. Oh, wow. Rule of five today again if you missed it. A record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. And that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is I love Telltale Games. I love them so much. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. Good luck for the final season. <laughs> I love them so much. Okay, I know I always simp for game characters, but how can you not simp for Big B? Okay, how can you actually not simp for Big B? He is so fine. So fine. Clem voices the baby frog. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I want to say this, but I'll be like, no harm done. No harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. See, he's so you know fine. What I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep going Oh, so it only up. lasts a certain Do amount of time. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? No. Um, uh, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. I mean, I, I right. kind of just did. Right. So There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you! No! Hell. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Why is he waving like that? Prick job shite. Tell me how to spend mine. You little rat. Dad, oh. the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Hi, Green You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey. Look at me. Matchbook. I didn't even get to look at that. Wait, it said Fable thingy unlocks. What does that do? 
Book of Fables. <gasps> oh my god! That was Clem. We have character fires! Big Bee Wolf, Fable Town Sheriff, the renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in red hoods, but he's trying to put those dark days behind him. Big Bee now acts as Fable Town Sheriff and remains in his human form, mostly. However, due to his rough past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Big Bee's determined to show that he is truly changed, but some instincts are just too hard to control. We have Mr. Toad, Slumlord, Slumlord. <laughs> Mr. Toad is the superintendent for a defunct tenement tenen on the edge of Fable Town proper because he's a three and her half foot talking amphibian. Amphibian! Amphibian. Toad is required by Fable Town Lord to keep his family and keep himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is, Toad isn't too concerned with what the law is and has to be reminded often. Fable Town, home of the fables. Fable Town is a community located on the Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. Regular people, or Mondays, it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but is really the home of fables from many worlds. And within business office of the woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of mag magical items of immense power. All non human fables live upstate of the farm and extension of Fable Town. The farm, Fable Town Annex. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as humans, giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mondays to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though the same like Colin though some like Colin sneak out into the city anyway. Okay, glamours, disguise styles. Um, they are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human among the Mondays. Cheap glamours can be found in the seedier parts of Fable Town, but they are often unreliable and prone to certain failure. It's true. Oh my god, guys, there's phone. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Oh, we're hey, big see, we're being a good citizen. Get off of me. I'm just gonna kick the door. I'm not gonna knock. Ah, oh, sheriff. God damn you! Oh wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? Girl? When I said we were the sheriff, mind you, we're doing good deeds. I'll fucking kill you! You fucker! What's going on? All right, what's going on? <gasps> oh, you're in for it now, you rat! How dare you do that to me? What are you gonna fucking do, huh? I'm gonna beat you up. Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. Mm -hmm. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. It's <gasps> not how it went last time. This isn't Wait, was last he... time. Was he a part of his story? <laughs> Send him to the wood. Where he belongs. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck Like 
You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You broke my jaw, you bastard. Kratos. <laughs> Will you talk? Fuck you. I'm gonna start rare beauty. Love that. Shit. What, what the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Oh. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Okay. I mean, she... Uh... What's your name? She's quite Whatever clearly you'd her. like it to be handsome. Don't make this more difficult you than fly. it has to be. <laughs> Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this Oh wow monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Damn, we tried to show off and it really backfired. That's embarrassing. Right, that's what I'm saying, Big B. It's all right. Shit. Oh. <laughs> you, hey, Toad. My car. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Give me a second. Sorry. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. Look, I could ship you off to the farm at any Things moment. End up more fucked than they started. You're an amphibian. Well, <laughs> Forget that. You're, not fucking dead. <laughs> you're an amphibian. Oh, it's not over. It's very much not over. Ow. Great teeth. Uh, 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 I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. You fucking mongrel. You ignorant fuck. Come on out, wall. <sighs> That's a lost cat. Oh my god. That's her. That's scary. What are you doing? Getting her payment, probably. Just getting what he owes me. Oh, there we go. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be- I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <gasps> oh my god. He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Babe, that's for my own doing. Please stop. Of Wolverine, yes. He does remind me of that. <clears throat> Big B. Shit. 
Oh my god. This is. Oh. I hate. I don't really like. I hate smoking. I can't do it anyway. But why was that attractive? <laughs> Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. That's the second time you've said that, babes. Hey, you like my ribbon? Oh, it has a little kiss on it. Beautiful. Not the bloody nose. Big Thank B. You. Manners. She'll remember that. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. So did you forget it then? Things change, I guess. I guess. Who could she be, though? Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Sure. Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. She's very pretty. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. How much was the OJ? A hundred. Damn. Bad for you to show up empty handed. Are we gonna give her the fine. money? Damn, he's done bad for real. <laughs> Let's see, I've got. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's oh! a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. <laughs> I'll swing by your I'm sure you'd love that, Big B. <laughs> you live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. You are on the clock. You are working right now. This behavior is unacceptable, hey. Big B. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Is this allowed? Is this allowed? <laughs> I'll see you around, Wolf. I so feel like this isn't allowed. Technically, she's on the clock. <laughs> he just emptied his pockets dry for a girl he just met. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's actually all I've got to say. Like, oh, wow. I so want to, I so badly want to see what um, his voice actor looks like. I don't know why. <laughs> I, just, I just do. fables to read okay the it's crazy that they voice the same character 
The woodsman is one of the few men who went toe to toe with Bigby in his Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the Great Wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him with rocks, and threw the beast into a river. To his dismay, his popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten, and he is only known as the woodsman. Ooh, burn! Why did we not get one of these? I want to play. The Woodland Luxury Apartments. Luxury Apartments? I wish they wouldn't advertise that. Oh, is this where we live? This is where we live? God damn. We bougie. Stay off the grass. No. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Don't tell me what to do. I just want to grow in the grass. Oh, you rat. Hi. There's no walking on the grass. No white's orders. She made a sign and everything. See, if I can't go in the grass, you can't. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Hello, Big B. Not the heels in the grass. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Well, now you make me want to tell her. He too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Sure. You promise? I'll place nice, Wolf. I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. <gasps> New book of fables. Thank you for trusting me. Really? No I, worries, girl. I I'll love you. Maybe. You more so look like Aurora, though. <laughs> Not like, um, see, uh, Beauty and the Beast. Belle, whatever her name is. Damn. I thought I was bad. You're sleeping on the job. Damn. Might have been getting a girl, but at least I wasn't sleeping, you know. At least I was busy doing something. Anyway. Beauty, Kang wife. Beauty and her husband, Beast. I hate how she's not killed Belle. Killed Belle. Called Belle. Uh, Beauty and her husband, Beast, once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the exodus, leaving all their wealth behind. Now they live in a modest studio in Fabletown, New York. Their times are hard, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, a couple having had the longest lasting relationship of all the fables. It's kind of cute. I have something in my throat. Oh, okay, fine. Hey, you wink? Does he, does he look awake? Probably for the best. Big B, my love, come on. Oh, the dust. Oh, he's out cold, okay. My catcher needs to dust this guy. Flycatcher is in a guy who catches flies. Been a while since I got any mail. Damn. Seventh day in a row. Oh, damn. He's only for real. He's just like me. <laughs> Am I supposed to look for a person's name on that? 
Okay, I can push the elevator button. But is there anything else I can do? No, okay. <laughs> That's very satisfying, actually. Oh, damn. You wait till I walk away to open the elevator? Oh! Hi. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? That scares me. Have you seen me. Beauty? I haven't seen her. Nope, I haven't seen her. Oh, okay. I love how his hair Sorry makes it look you. like he has elf ears. Damn it. Something's going on. What do you mean by that? Oh, another book of fables. I don't want to keep pausing to read the fables, but I want to read them. Okay. Oh, uh, <coughs> should have cracked a window. When I said this was luxurious and it sounded bougie, this was not what I was envisioning. I love how the hair just like stops and like just like it's here and then none. <laughs> I don't know whether that's funny. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Oh. You need to defrost that. That's bad, Big B. That's real bad. Probably a bad sign. Probably. I haven't had Chinese food in ages. Look at the fan. At least this still works. <clears throat> You're only one. <laughs> I'm so funny. Should help. I'm so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> this should help it, but it's not doing it. Oh, okay. Um, didn't realize I was in this game. <laughs> Bluebeard's file. <coughs> Never trust this oh. guy. Oh, my hands are all bruised. What a shame. Right. Beast. Beast and his wife Beauty left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He is able to get around Fable Town without a glamour most of the time, but Beauty gets too angry with him and he becomes beastly by the minute, growing horns and large teeth. That sounds toxic. Despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship of anyone in Fable Town. Bluebeard. Wealthy scoundrel. Uh, he managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The fable town government depends on his generous contributions and he often uses his influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over. But even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, this hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down to Crooked La Lane. What's that Crooked Lane? Okay, let's talk to the pig. What do you mean use? <sighs> no, not again. Uh, oh, I hate his me. eyes. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. 
It's been a long day. Oh, oh, that makes me very uncomfortable. I don't know why this is so funny. Got a smoke? Why is there a pig? Pigs can't. S oh, okay, I guess they can. Well. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. Mm. Oh. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. I didn't understand the choices, sir. So, everyone hates me. I don't. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought I was we were hungry. all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. Okay. I mean, look at your hands. Hey, no, that's not fair. I was fighting off a woodsman who also I play. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. It was I my was job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. I was protecting a girl. Sometimes I take him to the farm. Ooh. Fuck you. Oh. Why am I? I, I don't mean to be so. You think my job is easy? Me. Try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. I don't understand these other. choices. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that oh, shit in front of people. I hate it's embarrassing. I hate myself. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Well, I don't actually know her name. Oh. There was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. I should have said beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. <laughs> Will you shut up? Well, maybe oh! if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't oh have to keep Oh my god, barking. and the plot keeps plotting. That doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. I'm going to sleep anyway. I'm not going to drink it. Thanks, Big B. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. How are you sleeping like that? That'd be so uncomfortable. Hmm. 
Dun dun dun. Who is it? Wait, where's Colin? Where'd he go? Damn, he took my alcohol and left. How rude. Not the tire adjustment. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow. 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 What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Is that office? We have an office? These walls are paper thin. Wait. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. So security wait, we live in the station? God. Wait, there's something in the mouth. You wait. Knew this. Is this the actual ribbon story? Is this the ribbon story? Because she mentioned the ribbon. Snow White, assistant to the deputy mayor. Who's the de Who's the mayor? I don't know. Snow White's seat may seem cold, but this stems from her life of mistreatment and abuse back in homelands. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. No. <gasps> it wasn't long before. Snow discovered that Char Charming was cheating on her with her estranged sister Rose Red, and she divorced him. And she divorced him. After the exodus, Snow focused her attention on setting up a safe haven for Fables in the New World. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor of Fable Town. So what you're saying is she's up for the taking. Colin, couch surfer. He's better known as one of the three little pigs. Oh, oh, because he mentioned. That's one of the house you owe me. Okay, that makes sense. Back in the homeland, they were harassed by the big bad wolf who blew down the Colin's house of straw. That's on you. You build a house out of straw, that's actually on you. After the exodus, Colin and the other fables who couldn't pass for human were sent to live at the farm in the upstate New York. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes trips down to Fable Town to bother Bigby. He's always caught cool and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time. I don't want to choose the other options. Woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? I mean, it unless they pulled the ribbon. Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Ah, oh, she has snowflakes. Snow we White. We don't have much time before it's people are coming through here.
She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Is that the ribbon? What is? Strange cut. Oh. What did this to her? <laughs> I could do something like that. Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. It's a ribbon. With There's the ring that she was wearing. Some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I can't see what that symbol was. <sighs> I'm I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. And I want to see his what, hair in a bun. What do you want to do next? Sorry, that now's not the time. We still have some time. I but <laughs> in the air. I do just want to. Okay, good idea. Okay, we have the ring. Can I see up close? It's like a moon with stars. Wait, should I talk to? Snow? Hey, you alright? Yes. Thanks. She's so But you pretty. should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Nothing up here? I love these. I mean, they're probably green, but it looks blue to me. Say it's been here an hour, maybe. Do a corner. Lick it. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Well, it wouldn't be hers, would it? Oh, they- oh. oh! Oh! some loose trash. <clears throat> yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Well, would they not have they done that in escaping? Like, they left her there, then escapes? Damn, are we saying she's a suspect? What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Bigby, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Babes, I found a trail. Found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So someone from the outside. Ooh. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. Where's the woodlands? I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. 
It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I cool. guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Justice. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Wait, so this isn't the business office? I thought it was. Damn. <coughs> Why are they all Blind? lined up? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the here. fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> oh, okay. Fucker. This is the business office? Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe okay, on our very doorstep. Down. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, I don't you are the one didn't charged with protecting that. the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Oh, I'm sorry. I was Tell just supposed to know it was going to happen. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred he of like evidence Strauss. you to know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. I don't think it's a whisper. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something uh. worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle oh, well. on the situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. <laughs> Snow. The wolf yes. among us? Sir? The Call wolf Vivian among right us. this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. The enemy within? The wolf among us. Where is the bottle of wine it you were links. to purchase? Don't what? bother. Forget it. You can't do anything right. <laughs> do wow. your job, Sheriff. The rat we'll among us. We'll find someone who I'm can. Vivian. You know what? Stop. Might be. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. I'm well, sorry. Maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Crane doesn't like people smoking. Do I care? Never mind. <laughs> Literally Smoke side away. eye. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to Big someone. Big B. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... Is he gone? Who the yes, hell are you? Thankfully. Oh, the bottle. Buffkin! Buff uh, hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I hate you. Fine, Buffkin. 
Thanks for asking. He's kind of cute. But he's scary. Back he's really scary. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. It's like a library. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Magic mirror? I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay, let's look for the fables. Ichabod Crane, deputy mayor of Fable Town. Hailing from the haunted town of the Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been deputy for mayor of Fable Town for nearly 115 years. Oh, deputy mayor. Right, okay. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously, though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well of citizens. Overall, Crane is authoritarian. Uh, is. Author authoritarian. Cowardly and is always hiding something. Right. Bafkin. Bafkin is a talking winged monkey from the land of Oz. Oh, okay. He's a librarian. Now, as Fable Town's librarian, he spends his time reading and stealing the deputy mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so when something goes wrong, he'll assume he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time, he'd rather be drinking. Someone would have fired him a long time ago, but he's the only one who can make the sense of the filing system. And then Mundies. Short for mundane, Mundy is a catch-all term that fables use to refer to the non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Warding spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town and Farm keep their mind distractive and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity of Scrinity or a large group of Mundies, these magical protection charms would ever fail and fail. Overload and fail. As sheriff of Fable Town, one of Bigby's primary functions is ensuring the Fable Town community maintains a low profile. Hello, Vivian. Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Magic lamp. Worth a try. Yes. <laughs> Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Will we meet the genie? Okay, she said look at the mirror, so I'm gonna make a look at the mirror last. I have the record right here. Give me one moment. Ooh. Tarot well, deck. That's not what I have here. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Aw, it's a wolf. I'll be sure to let him know. Uh, oh, what's the last one then? Damn, just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? It means mm, you're gonna get stabbed in the back. <laughs> Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows? Who's where Jack? He before then, or what he did to get them. Okay, well, let's look in the mirror. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, Check yourself out mirror. all you want. I'm I not complaining. Question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two <laughs> seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Why is his face like? Show me Snow White. Oh my god, did you see that smile? Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. <clears throat> Where oh, is wow. 
What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. <laughs> oh shit, which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Well, find the name. Show me Buffkin. No. Oh. Hey, oh my god. Put down god. the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Buffkin. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Jack and the Beansel? Maybe. Bye, AMJ. Thank you for joining the stream. Show me the woods. Does this show the same thing? Oh, wow. Show me Buffkin. Buffkin! Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! Oh my god. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Oh, here he is. Finally. Oh well. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, the person hanging in the back? Did you guys see that? Oh. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Hi. In the back somewhere. Yeah, there. <clears throat> That's for decoration. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <coughs> Sorry, I have something in my throat. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. <gasps> Colin! Colin and his brothers. Wait, where's his brothers? I've seen this before. Oh, I didn't get to look at the other ones. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. No. This has most oh. of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I wanna look at the Beast. other guys. Oh! Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Oh. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. Not a good day. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Oh. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Why do they look like that? They look creepy. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His <laughs> finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. <gasps> she wants to rule. She wants to she wants to take over. Didn't the original Pinocchio story end with him hanging? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. <gasps> Buffkin! Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. What's it say about that? It says brickle bit in an older elvish hat. <laughs> What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? <laughs> it makes animals shit gold. Oh. For real? 
This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Okay. <gasps> Wait, this ring, is it? This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlyro? <laughs> I'll go look it up. Alan Thank you, Buffkin. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. Also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. <laughs> the story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic Wait, cloak. Wait, the dad was meant to marry the daughter? And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Oh my god. Hi, Tyson. We got what we came for. That is so uh, messed up. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No. I don't, but we need to let him know about his wife. Jesus. I feel so bad. Hmm. Well, I looked in these two. Oh, do I leave? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I looked at everything. What do I do? Mirror? Oh, my bad. Sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear that part. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? <gasps> show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. That's so interesting. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Biggie. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh. I guess that crosses has... him off the suspect the list. Ring. So it wouldn't show Faith. It didn't show Faith's body. I was sort of right about the Pinocchio story, I think. Another story that was messed up in the original was Snow Wright with the poison apple. Yeah, the original stories are so There's messed a prince, up. I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. <gasps> What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. 
Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. It's gonna be like day, but now's not the time. Hi, Charlie. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. That scared me. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. Oh. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey. Why would you? What was that about? Why would you Hard put yourself say. in? Something that situation. going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have The to shading wait. on her face. Oh my god. Do I have to choose? Whenever you're ready. Save Toad? I want to go with Snow. Toad's fine. Was, was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Oh, either way we go with her, so it's fine. Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. <sighs> um. Big B. It's me, Toad. Big B. We'll Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not. That's so interesting have the, the having the anyway. street name along the pavement. Interesting. I'm good there, Charlie. Are you okay? The little amphibian. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Oh, wow. Is somebody up there? Oh, I didn't say anything. My bad. I was trying to figure out who that was. Here. Maybe it's good I didn't say anything. Shit. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. Don't you dare speak to Clem like that. I don't even remember Aww. half of this shit. Is Clem crying? I, I know it's not Clem. This much of a mess. But still. Is there nothing here? Oh. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. I destroyed most of his stuff. I don't know why anyone's here. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? I mean, you did chuck him into multiple objects in this room. <laughs> How? Should the, the baby toad be a tadpole? Isn't that a frog? Oh wait, a frog's... Wait, are frogs and toads the same thing? I'm sorry, this sounds really dumb, but I always get confused. Wait, no. Tortoise and turtles are different. Is that his son? Toads, I think. 
Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. You called? What do you mean? Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got that the best was. of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Aww. I hate the feet. Are you all oh, right? not the feet. Oh, fine, oh God. Boy. Just stung his little toe. Oh, my God. Walker, oh, wow. Just like his dad. That's, oh, uh, that's actually So, I guess vile. you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. I'll leave when I'll I'm ready. leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste oh, your wow. time. So. <laughs> uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... <laughs> Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. I hear Ooh. Clem. I hear Clem. <laughs> Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. It shouldn't have called me then. Wait, is he being blackmailed? Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. He must be being blackmailed. The lamps broke too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. I thought he was a landlord. Hmm. Something's not right here, Toad, so I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Oh, that's blood. He's bleeding. Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't I you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Okay. Sorry, I'm just checking something. Oh, God. He is a toad. Oh. Oh, it's. Oh! Wait. Some more blood. My detective school is coming from oh, Batman. Yes. The poker. Yeah. What happened? Oh well, that's that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit, sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Foot like a shit. Your foot's thing. fine, babes. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Oh, he said he was a frog. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? I didn't, you I didn't catch that. You cut your hand. Yeah, no, I did cut my hand. 
I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. I think you need to figure out if you're a frog or a toad. Because that's the that's the biggest deal breaker here. Oh my god, will you not make oh a big god. faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. I don't believe Why you. Why don't you believe me? I mean... He's pulling an abbey. I think maybe you're hiding something. Did you see the hiding swing? something? Maybe. But uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just going to make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Bye, Opsy. Optimato. Thank you for joining the stream. No! I wanted to see the dust ring! Dust ring. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the You dust. should know if it wasn't on. Something? Oh, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? The lamp. The lamp was unplugged and thrown. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? So you're telling me he left a toy here? Long enough for me to be able to tell when it's been taken away. Well, he forgets about them, you know, because he has so many. That's in a hexagonal. Toad talked his way out. That one. Oh, I wanted to try and catch him out. here on the windowsill but like i said junior leaves his toys around all the time these don't look like they're from a toy oh well just <laughs> yeah. that night when i'd come out i was in a, a downright dizzy mate as you i don't think be. you have claws <laughs> my love i forgot the keys to this place and i had to climb in through the bloody window oh really scared junior off to death Uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? <laughs> oh wow! Way to um. Thought you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken. So why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? Smart detectiveness. You yourself, the lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. Mercy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at my private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, you say to my face. Hey, you think I'm hiding something from you? Yeah. Well, you've had the guy of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's in. I've literally found more so things. When, when are you gonna leave? When I'm ready. I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody When own. I say it's so. Not seemly. When? When I say so, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. Cashing him out. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh, that's really cute. Hi, Chadwick. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Oh, he is? Where? <gasps> Take off the hat. Oh, he wasn't wearing a hat before. 
It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. Oh. <sighs> it's been a whole morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Oh, wow. He tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Not the fur. Not being a Find fur a coat, no. Why is it up the fireplace? <gasps> no, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you oh. want to try and give it to him, or...? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Oh Let's my god, donkey skin. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Does that look like a big car? For that much blood. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. What's the shirt saying? No what? Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So the prince is now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. <laughs> <coughs> Lawrence's apartment, South Bronx, early morning. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me we're here to question Lawrence bump him up on the suspect list or cross him off entirely okay what is it I just I just don't think he did it in cases like these isn't it usually the husband For I Mondays, didn't maybe, the, this is I different. didn't think uh, okay I didn't think that he did it though. I was just saying like well, he might have okay faith Faith, otherwise known as a donkey skin girl, made it through the exodus from the magical romance with the clothes on her back, her husband, and nothing else. She was a was once a beautiful princess, happily married to Prince Lawrence of a neighborhood or um, neighboring kingdom. Her life should have been a happy ending, but the mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning tricks to make the rent for a cheap apartment in the outskirts of Fable Town. She had a difficult life, but she did what she could to survive in an unfamiliar void. Okay. Ooh. Let's look in. Be sneaky. Yeah, he's dead, so I don't think he did it. Or he could have done it and then, like, you know. But I don't think he did it. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, the TV's on. What's going on with these lighting effects? Oh. Oh. 
What do you mean use? Wait, he, was he stabbed oh in the god. back of the chest? Oh my god! Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with no. him. No! No. Let me go. He's still alive? What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Oh, it's bad if I look at the note. I should probably get... Pay the rent next week. Peace on the fridge. Peace on look at me. Goodbye. <gasps> Did you find it yet? I'm sorry, I was looking at the note. I was being nosy. So, does she know she was gonna die or was she planning to run off? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? Well, Faith didn't do it. That's really sad. I didn't expect this to be sad. Do you oh, she's still have that angry. Letter? Yes. Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. I feel kind of bad, but it's That's true. Right. So there might be something in there. I'm sorry. Faith. Oh, wow. That said so much. It's only oh my two god. Words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry, too. Wait, why didn't you check the back of the letter? We need to figure out what happened here. It might have been some fine to Actually, no, it was folded. There probably wasn't. How long has he been here for, though? Like, I'm really confused. Okay. New fable. Oh, God. Prince Lawrence, Faith is husband. Faith's husband. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife Faith immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York, hoping to find aid in a community of fellow Fables, but without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle in the apartment on the outskirts of the neighbourhood. Unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. Their prospects, the winning Faith, left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Oh. Now, without his wife's support, Lawrence struggles to motivate him himself and quickly sinks into depression. So how long has she been gone? I need a timeline. I need a timeline because I, it, it's not making sense. I don't know if the fan would make it worse or better. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. <laughs> Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really <laughs> help. Hmm. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Has he spent over a week on the phone of dying? That's what I don't get. Because the woodsman isn't dead. Mirror showed me that. 
this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Still a little sticky. Can we not test to see whose blood it is? Is that of the same gun? Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. Hmm. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Is there anything back here? No. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Secondhand paperbacks. Hardbacks are superior. So what I'm gonna say. Was there anything else in here? Because I know there was a note. It's like a Murphy bed. Is that what they're called? I know they're called that in Sims. Oh. Son of a... My dearest Faith. Oh. Stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Oh, did maybe. So, did he just assume that he hurt Faith and that's why she left him? Hopefully they're together now. <laughs> About all we can hope for at this point. Hmm. Well, I've looked at everything. Have I not? Are you being for real? There's nothing back there. Is there anything in here now? No. What if I look at this again? Ah, oh, Big B. Do. Oh. Wait, that Stay was the same here. dude that was at Toads. No. Hey, stop. Why does he blow Leave me it? alone. Drop that on the dude. Ow. 
I just knew that. I knew that trick. Oh, damn. not funny oh yeah okay <laughs> that was karma that was definitely not funny <laughs> what is this dude doing okay Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You... son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. With the blade. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down leads. What but why does he want to know about the girl? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. <laughs> Say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. He's gonna hit me. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Well, it could be much oh, easier. Oh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I'm D. He's dumb. Dumber and dumber. <gasps> oh, wow. I got no whacked. Looked peaceful. <laughs> hey, Stone. This is embarrassing. Uh, Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Ooh. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains Ooh. ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Did you get the number plate? Come on, get up. Luckily, I don't Guess think the mad hatter is. <laughs> He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. But it's not the woodsman. I really Every love the style I think of this I'm getting game. a handle on what's going on. Things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. Is it Bluebeard? Yeah, I don't know. Yet, but, uh, Tell me. I don't think anything would surprise me at this point. I feel like Bluebeard. I don't think it's any of the others. I had the same suspicion. I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking. Um, he wouldn't be mentioned if he wasn't relevant to the There's still a lot story. of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Why is this so good? Thanks I for wish you. there was. Aww. Lovers. Bluebeard is. Let me get him up. 
this is Bluebeard. Um, he's basically just like this rich dude who's very corrupt, was a former serial killer, and decapitated his brides. Yeah. <laughs> Not great guy. <laughs> the Tweedles. The Tweedle brothers, Dom and Dee, are thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out their contracts in the Mundy world without drawing suspicion. They are inseparable as they are ruthless and annoying. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. It's nothing. I just. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I love the moments like these when the music comes through. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Wait, he's the sheriff. Can he not do something about it? Ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am at this political stuff. <laughs> well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. She kind of has like this similar face with those right. face. But I think that's just like a telltale thing. <laughs> but yes, I do ship them. They're so cute. Well, I hope we can romance them one. in season two, because I'm pretty sure you can't in this game. Wait, that's is that a beast? Yeah. Maybe I should. Yeah, it's the theme music. It hits so hard. Big B. I love you. I... Um, just be careful. Please. Always. That's so cute. Bye bye. I love this game. I'm having so much fun with this. It's nice because I genuinely cannot remember anything. Damn! Oh, a tattoo! What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not Get here. Get to the chase. Oh, okay. So I guess you can go now. Yes, you did too. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for. What do you mean, who? Days. I literally just said who. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which. I don't know. So you're lying. Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Big B. Fuck off. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is the same dude. 
I've watched a playthrough, I watched basically... <coughs> basically, I watched someone play this game years upon years ago. Like, close enough to the time when it first came out. So I don't remember any of it. I remember small parts, but I don't remember a lot. And I've never played it for myself, so this is really all new. <laughs> Bye. We have no money. Damn. <clears throat> Wait, so if I hadn't given Faith the money... Damn, I gave her my $58 and she died. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Mm. But if I didn't give Faith the money, could I have, like... <laughs> got the, it then? A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. Advert. She speaks. Does she, doesn't huh. she speak like Holly? I get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. Interesting that it says half empty glass, not that? half full. Someone who left. Hi, hi. Someone like the guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you, I haven't seen him for a couple days. He must still be here. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Oh, wow. Has he just gone to the toilet or something? Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? How about I buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off? Oh, wow. Uh, I was just being nice. I have done nothing to any of you. Uh... Lot of stools in this place. And I chose this one. But there's only one right next to you. You're gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Oh wow, not that we reserve the right to Give refuse me service gold. to anyone. You want a lime? Sure. Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> oh. Think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. I just wanted a drink. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... I called it! I said it. There he is. Come on out, woodsman. If it's not him, that's embarrassing. Holly, you're out of paper towels and... Uh... So predictable. <laughs> Why is he got blood on his nose? Was that from where I beat him up? That was a while ago now though. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. It's kind of funny, because isn't he necessarily the good guy? Well, Woody, that makes two of us. Hi, time. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. 
<laughs> oh. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? He's a grown man. He can make his own decisions. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. Kind of. Come on, Woody. Why'd you but do he it? didn't do it. No bullshit. Same reason people do a lot of awful things. For money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. But she had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because... Thought she might give me a reward, but she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. Oh my huh. god! How good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were. Damn! It doesn't even know. Morning. No, 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 no! I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe this is me, shocking. right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. Okay, I believe you, you guys. See? Bye. Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. They do actually sound similar. Now that I know. Hey, they sound stop! Similar. This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. About this fucking lap dog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Lap dog? Really? <laughs> Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Anyone tell you you got a big fucking mouth? Oh, it gets bigger. Okay. <gasps> oh. Good. Oh, he removed his grandma. What the hell is that? Should have walked out of here. What's that little fish? Chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. Okay. Are they trying to get the wolves to come out? Oh, that was cool. Oh my god. 
the bar come on you've got customers to serve <gasps> the claws <laughs> big b no bad dog bad bad dog hot dog hot dog hot dog bad dog <laughs> i'm so funny Really bad. Are we gonna pay? Oh. Why does he look hot either way? Shh. Oh wait, I have no money. It's not like you were gonna pay for it anyway. I mean I was. I truly was, I promise. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. He's so fine. All right, I got a hundred bucks for that the first deal bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Hello. Fuck. Chase found two? Oh, he's gonna book it. He's gonna book it. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna go after him. Fuck, man. That's not necessary. He's the one you want, not me! No, Your I Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> These are basically a model if you don't go tearing their head off so they can just shake it off in a matter of days. Okay. Fair enough. Why? Do anything oh. <laughs> stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. <laughs> Is this why? There's only one real part of this I remember, and I think it's this part. Why are Beauty and Beast here, though? Not the slow-mo.
That's the only part I remember of it, though. No, Prince Lawrence, I think, had a bullet wound in the head. Next time we on. had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my! He a killed serial a serial. Killer. Sorry. Oh God, and it's one of us. <laughs> Wait. Uh... The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. Maybe the woodman's chill. I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. I'm not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. <laughs> we can arrange that. What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Who has the voice actor from Kenny? Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? Episode two, Smoke and Mirrors. Okay. Player choices. Did you give your money to Faith? Most people did. Did you tell Be Beast the truth about beauty? Most people lied. Where did you decide to go first? Most people went to help Toad. What happened to Prince Lawrence? You did not prevent Prince Lawrence's death. You can prevent his death? He can live? If you went to this place early, he lives. 13.3% of players pointed their finger at Bluebeard. Most people went with Tweedledee. Okay. Oh my god, that was so much fun! Holly, Trip Trap owner. Holly is a no-nonsense kind of troll and the owner of the Trip Trap bar. She's glamorous with her human, but her patrons know better. Holly takes good care of her regulars, often the downtrodden fables with little despair, but she has no patience for the fabled town government that has done nothing to locate her missing sister. This is so funny to me. <laughs> Rendell, drifter. Rendell just wants to be left alone. In the old days, he terrorized Norse mead halls, but lately he can be found occupying a stall in various quiet, dumpy bars around New York. He hates the noise of the city, but must work there to afford his glamour. Despite his gruff bearing, he's fiercely loyal to those who's learned to offer him space and silence his desires. Talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick down. It's only a matter of time. Bigby's Mercy. In the days leading up to the exodus, the big bad wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in the Black Forest. These invading forces had driven off the great beast fed quarry and their own flesh was rotten with corruption. Hardly a suitable replacement. He made it his game to destroy their camps, devour the night watchmen and disrupt their supply trains while subverting their prisoners. One day he broke their ranks and discovered a particular woman they held captive. Her skin was white as snow but her hair was as dark as the night sky. He approached her and she, knowing no sword could match the giant wolf's power, bravely placed her shackles in the beast's mouth. He freed her but years would pass before the two would meet again in the Monday world. Wait, is this Faith? Like, it could be Snow because her skin was white as snow and her dark, her hair was as dark as the night sky. But when... When Faith and Bigme met, he was like, I have a feeling I know you. And Faith and Snow have very similar looks. So it could be either of them, to be fair. Oh my god, that was so good, though. I enjoyed that so much. I'm so excited for episode two. I'm so excited.